With nearly 20 years of work on her resume, Ivana Sakno has appeared in various projects, some of her notable roles include Cadet Victoria in Pacific Rim, Uprising, Nadeja in The Spy Who Dumped Me, and Kat Monroe in two episodes of High Fidelity. Her portrayal of Shin Hadi in Ahsoka is set to catapult her even further into the limelight. Here are five facts about Ivana Sakno. She had her first acting role at the age of six. Ivana Sokno was born on November 14, 1997, in Kyiv, Ukraine. She was exposed to the world of cinema from a young age because her parents were involved in the film industry in Ukraine. Sokno had her first acting role at the age of six when she starred in a popular Ukrainian sitcom Lysia Plus Roma. But it wasn't her experience on the set that made her fall in love with the art of cinema. When she was eight, her mother showed her a French romantic comedy Amelie. She was so amazed by the movie that she watched it many times. After Amelie, her interest in the film industry expanded beyond Ukraine. She was determined to move to Hollywood. At a young age, Sokno developed a strong desire to move to an English-speaking country and become a part of the film industry there. She particularly aimed for Hollywood. She told Kiv Post, I remember being in my old childhood bedroom, drawing the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles, putting it on the wall, and dreaming that maybe one day I will at least make it there. Sokno took a significant step toward her dream by moving to Canada for half a year at the age of 13 to study English. During this time, she immersed herself in an English-speaking environment. She also attended a workshop by a Hollywood casting director, who encouraged her to move to Los Angeles and pursue acting seriously. Sokno moved to Los Angeles at the age of 15, attended Beverly Hills High School, and later received a scholarship to the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute, a renowned acting school. Her breakthrough role was in Pacific Rim, Uprising. Her debut feature film in the US was the horror movie The Body Tree, which came out in 2017, followed by another film of the same genre, Can't Take It Back, released soon after that. But her breakthrough came in 2018 when she starred in Pacific Rim, Uprising, where she played a secondary role as Cadet Victoria. To prepare for the role, she had to train five days a week. Furthermore, it was her first time working with green screens and CGI or computer-generated imagery. She worked hard to improve her English. For someone from outside the United States, getting a role as a local American can be challenging due to differences in accents. There are also fewer opportunities to play foreign characters. To speak with an authentic American accent, Sokno has been studying American English since she moved to the US. She even had to reduce her consumption of content in Ukrainian and limit communication in her native language, even with her parents. She told Kiv Post, it's tremendous work, and it's a never-ending process of watching films and listening to your own voice recording and understanding the issues with the sound you have to change. She went to extraordinary lengths in preparation for Ahsoka. In an interview with EW, Sakno talked about the extraordinary efforts she put into getting ready for her role in Ahsoka. While many might think intense workouts and physical changes are only for Marvel actors, Sakno proves that the Star Wars universe requires just as much from its cast. Sakno fully embraced the challenge and committed to intense training to learn the agility needed for her character's fight scenes. She proudly mentioned, I was doing ice baths two times a week, and talked about working closely with Ahsoka's fight coordinator, Ming Q, for months during her training for the series. It's well known that keeping up with legendary Jedi warriors isn't a walk in the park, but Sakno's determination and hard work demonstrate what it takes to excel in the middle of this otherworldly battle.